Hey guys, it is Sunday at lunchtime, about to make my lunch. Bob and I have had a lot of chores we needed to get done because there's a lot to get done before we leave for California. Um, but I think we got all the ones we can do today done today, including listing three different batches of things on the local Buy Nothing group. Um, and all three of them have interest. So let's see if they can pick them up ASAP. Uh, anyway, I'm going to make some lunch right now. I don't know what else we're going to get up to. We may just stay home and be couch potatoes and watch movies. To be honest, Bob's not really up to doing a whole lot, so um, that's okay. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, I don't think I've vlogged yet today. And the next week or so, that's it's going to be like that. Extra forgetful. Anyway, um, it's the end of the day today. It's just about 5.30, I think. Thank okay, you. we'll do this in here. Sorry. There's a lot going on outside. <laughs> um, I talked to our neighbor about what's going on and all of that stuff, and he's going to keep an eye on the house. Um, sent his condolences. And all of that stuff brought in the garbage cans and all that. Anyway, there's a lot going on this week, and we are, of course, packing to go down to California to help out with the estate. And we have some stuff we have to do before then, which we're trying to get done in and around regular stuff and babysitting. Oh, crap. I've got to be up early tomorrow because i got to help Bob with some car stuff. Dropping off a car to have some work done. One of the cars to have some work done on it. Actually, the truck, which we're taking to California um, before we leave. And I'm babysitting all day. <laughs> then we got to go pick the truck up. <laughs> so... Anyway, it's a lot. I have two cardigans I'm working on at the moment that I'm going to try to finish. I do want to show you how I'm doing the Red Heart Granny Square stuff, but I can use my extra granny squares to show you and talk you through by showing you the actual finished sweaters. And it's not like I don't have enough finished. And this is just the skein of yarn that I currently need to use up. I've got more, so I think we're good. Um... I would love to say I can finish the two cardigans before we leave. I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. But I'm not going to push myself. I did get the vlog edited and it is up and scheduled. I don't know if I'm going to get much of another one out after that. We'll see. It might be very short. And if you're watching this clip, that's the vlog I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I might film some car crocheting because we are going on a long driving trip. It's six to eight hours, I think. Six hours with no stops, something like that. So I will be crocheting. Uh, I don't know if I'll be helping driving. Bob might want to just do, he likes to drive, so. Um, so yeah, all right found a random wire nut laying on the ground by the garbage can. I don't know what it went to. I couldn't see anything it fell off of, so I don't, I just handed it to him along with a couple of bills from the mailbox. So I don't know. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna have some water and I'm gonna work on the other sleeve on my cotton cardigan that I'm making. And I'm hoping by tomorrow night, I can get that one finished, maybe. 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 All right. That's it for the minute. I'll get, I'll be back. I'll get back. I'll get back someday. All right. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, like 8, 15 AM. We are taking the truck in Bob's car to get a few things done to it before we take it on the road trip down to California um, to get some things from his mom's house. So we're going to start off the day like that. Then grandson is coming over and I'm gonna babysit for the day. And this afternoon we'll go pick his truck back up again. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so obviously, so I'm gonna have to blur some faces here cause somebody doesn't wanna turn around. <laughs> but um, it's obviously babysitting day. I said that already. I did get the bottom ribbing done on that sweater. Um, done shortly after he got here. He was fascinated watching Oma um, crochet, although he wanted to grab the hook. I don't know if that's good or bad. I didn't want him to eat it. That's a bad idea. Anyway, we are 
just sitting here playing and um, it'll be time for lunch in a couple minutes and all of that. And hopefully tonight I can get that sweater finished, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna have to mark out where I want the buttonholes to be before I do the ribbing around the front and the neckline. But somebody's gonna have to have gone home first before I do that, so. Yeah? I know, he wants to stand, so I gotta go. I'll be back. Okay, guys, one of two cardigans done. Um, and I have it on over a sweatshirt, which is big and bulky because, and I look like hell, I know. Babysitting day. Uh, I'm gonna wash and block it, but here it is. What do you think? I, the pattern calls for pockets. It's the, called the boyfriend sweater. I'm playing a little bit of yarn chicken because this is all I have left. I did order a couple more skeins because nobody has it in stock around me and I don't know if it's limited edition or not. But anyway, I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of fine without the pockets. And honestly, the pockets would be for decoration because knit pockets and my cell phone don't necessarily mix well. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. You know, it's just a bulky, oversized, it's called the boyfriend sweater. And yeah, I like the way it turned out. So anyway, there you go. Another project done. Yeah, now to get this and a couple other things in the laundry so that it can dry, hopefully before we leave. Cause maybe I'll wear it, maybe I won't, I don't know, but. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, I am obviously out of house, running errands. Um, I gotta go pick up some prescriptions before we leave tomorrow. Of course we have to finish packing and all that. But while I'm out, I'm going to stop at a little yarn shop. I've been meaning to stop out for a long time. I kind of knew it was over here, but I don't know that I've ever been in. Maybe once. I, I don't remember. And I didn't buy anything, but we're going to go check it out today since I'm out driving around anyway. It's called Nitro Knitters. It's in Beaverton. And let's go see what they're all about. I am looking for mini skeins. I want maybe a California poppy color, a color for Oregon, and a color for Washington. I, sh I need to do some Googling. I'll be back. Okay, that was a cute little shop. Um, I got a few mini skeins uh, that I want to wind up before we leave in the morning. Um, they don't have a huge selection of yarns. It's a small shop for yarn's sake is bigger. Um, but the prices are about the same. The staff is super friendly and um, they have like every notion on the planet that you could possibly think of. And their selection of yarns is nice. It's not all high-end yarns. Um, they have some Cascade and stuff, which is a good quality sort of semi-affordable yarn. I love that. So anyway, um, we're gonna head over and get my prescriptions now and then go home. I haven't had lunch yet, so I need to eat something. All right, and I'm gonna work on that other cardigan because hopefully I can get it done and not bring it with me, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think at the very least, I'm gonna be weaving in yarn ends in the car. I'll be back. Started. Okay, we are stopped on the rest stop off of 99. Yes, exit 99. Off of highway, highway 5. Yes. I put the front ribbing on this in the car. Obviously, as you can see, we have lots of thread ends to put on, and I haven't put the but put the buttons on yet. But how cute is that? It's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Time to switch out projects because I'm not sewing buttons in the car or doing this. Plus, we need to eat lunch, so there's that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, it's been a weird week, but it is Sunday morning, 11.17 uh, a.m., and we are headed back home to Oregon from 
doing Bob's mom estate stuff. And it's been a long, stressful, tiring weekend, but we got a lot done. There's still a lot more to do. So that's not the end of the story, but anyway. We are gonna meet up with um, daughter, grandson, and son-in-law, and grand dog, and um, sort of carpool on the way home. I think we're gonna take the dog off their hands because they've got themselves, the baby, and the dog in the car, and it's a lot to have in one car, so. Um, yeah. So anyway, and, and I need more, Bob and I, I think maybe both need more coffee. Like it's like, I need, I definitely need coffee. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week and that you remember to give those you love a hug and tell them you love them as often as possible. And um, if you want to do something, just go do it. Life is short, right? Uh, his mother would be the first one to tell you that. So anyway, all right. That's it for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out that video description and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.